Hi everyone, today BSS come back with another video of Magento 2 extension. Are default SEO in Magento 2 adequate for your site? The answer is no. To stand out in Google search results, you need to maximize your SEO effectively. And this package provides every single function that should be added for better e-commerce SEO. To be more specific, this package has 13 child modules based on the area of snippets and breadcrumbs, sitemap and index, duplicate content, meta template and image alt, SEO external links, toolbar and SEO report. And no further, let's get started with the tutorial. This first SEO core module helps users add customized H1 to their page and validate tags to Google and Bing. In the first section, choose yes to enable or no to disable this function. When you choose yes, you go to the search engine optimization of each category, CMS or product edit page to enter a customized heading one. Next, if you are using Google Search Console, you need to enter the code provided by Google. This helps the module to show you impressions, clicks, CTR, from Google Search Console. This module allows you to add content tags for completing structured data for a site. Choose yes to enable the feature or choose no to disable it. In the site structure section, each field stands for extra content which can add to your site. Similar to the previous part, choose yes to show the following information about your website in the search result, otherwise choose no. And the other fields, please fill in your business information. Next, at product option. For the yes no fields, Choose yes to show the option in the search result, otherwise choose no. In add category, if you choose enable, the category path is added to the product URL displayed in SERPs. Next, in add brand, select an attribute code of the brand to appear in the search result. In add tin, select a GTN to display in the search result. Finally, in Custom Properties, customize any rich snippet and assign it to an attribute. You need to enter custom properties following the rich snippet structure. Otherwise, you face issues when checking your website on Google Structured Data Testing Tool. Similar to product options, in Show Name part, choose Yes to show the category name in the search result, otherwise choose No. If you choose no, all the following settings will be disabled. To enable open card and Twitter card for product page, category page and website, you need to choose yes. Otherwise, choose no. To configure XML sitemap for your Magento 2 store, please follow these two steps. Step 1. Configure the extension settings as your wish at the back end. I will show you how to configure the feature settings later. Step 2. Create a new XML sitemap at marketing, then choose Google XML. This module allows customers to config XML sitemap as wishes. First, we will show you how to configure the feature settings. In Enables field, choose Yes to generate an XML sitemap.
In Homepage Options section, choose Yes to show homepage in the XML sitemap, otherwise choose No to hide it. Similar to the previous section, you also need to choose frequency and priority in this section. In Disable Category and All Products on Category, fill in the ID of categories you want to hide from Sitemap. In Enable Path, choose Yes to enable Use Categories Path for Product URLs Config. Next. Frequency and priority parts are similar to the two previous sections. In Disable Product Type, you can choose to hide all products belong to product types from the sitemap. Finally, fill in the ID of products you want to hide from sitemap. We will do the same with CMS Page Options. Choose the frequency and priority for the search engine crawlers to index CMS pages. In Disable CMS Link, Choose CMS links to be disabled from the XML sitemap. Next step, we do the same with additional link list. Only with list of additional links, you need to fill in the list of additional links to be shown in the sitemap. In Divide Sitemap, there are four options for dividing sitemap like this. Also, don't forget to fill in maximum number of URLs and file size in bytes. After Config, please go to Marketing, then choose Google XML Sitemap, and select Add Sitemap to create a new sitemap. In File Name, choose a name for the sitemap. In Path, if you want to use a different path, you must create a new folder at the back end. Finally, choose Save. After saving the sitemap, Click Generate for the sitemap to be created following the module settings. This is how your sitemap will look like. The package also helps to create an HTML sitemap page that displays on the front end. First, to enable the feature, please choose Yes. In Session Order, fill in the order of sessions to be displayed. Please fill in all four items separated by a comma. Back to Show Link at Field, please select Footer or Top Menu to display the sitemap link. Next, in the Search Engine Optimization section, please fill in all title, keywords, and description for your sitemap. In Product List, choose Yes to show product links in the sitemap. There are three options to sort displayed products at HTML sitemap. Similar to the product list, choose Yes if you want to show store view links in the sitemap. And don't forget to choose the store view list title. For the category link, choose Yes to show category links in the sitemap. In the title option, complete the title. Then, fill in IDs of categories you want to hide in the sitemap. In additional link list, first choose the title. Then, choose the links and the anchor you want to display following this example. After that, choose Yes to open additional links in a new tab, otherwise choose No. In the last section, we also have three fields such as Show CMS Link, fill in the title and choose the CMS links you want to hide from the sitemap. To fix robot meta tag according to setup config, this package offers you to enter URL patterns based on the following formats. There are also three options for you to choose from which are index no follow, noindex follow, and noindex no follow. In noindex follow robots meta header, choose pages to set up no index follow tag. For the last field, enter your custom instruction of robot.txt file. If you leave this field blank, the file will run with the default Magento setup. You need this module to set up canonical tags on the site. First, 
Choose yes to enable the canonical tag or choose no to disable it. Second, choose another URL path for homepage. There are two available options in canonical for product. Lastly, with canonical tag for category, choose whether to enable the use of next slash previous tag in category or add canonical tag to layered navigation. This module helps to set up breadcrumbs on category and product pages. Choose yes to enable the advanced breadcrumbs SEO, or choose no to disable it. Then, in type of breadcrumbs, choose between two available options. In enable category priority, choose yes to enable category priority or no to disable it. This function applies to the product page when a product is deleted. The link will be automatically saved and redirect your customers to another page. Again, in general config, choose yes to enable the feature, otherwise, choose no. Please take note that this setting only applies to deleted product pages. In time period field, choose the period for redirecting to be applied. The Hreeflang tag tells Google which language you use on a specific page. Ideally, this module helps you to add Hreeflang tag to the pages without technical knowledge. In frontend, it will look like this. Support section, choose yes to enable the feature or select no to disable it. In add Hreeflang for store view, assign language and country for each store view. Then, the last four fields are for enabling and disabling features at the home page, category, CMS page, and product page. This module lets users create rules for meta tags on categories and products. In frontend, the meta tag will automatically be generated based on setup variables like this. In this section, you are able to choose the maximum number of characters for meta title, description, keywords, and URL key. You can fill in the number we suggest or any options you want. Similar to the product setting, you also have to same config for category setting. You can choose the alt tag and image name template, then the extension will auto-generate following your template. You can click on insert template variables to choose the variables we provide. Then you click generate button to be redirected to a new page, then start generating both templates. You can track the process in this page conveniently. When you click an image, you are able to edit the image file name and alt text, then save config within the grid. This is the display result from the front end. In SEO toolbar, first, choose yes to enable the feature or choose no to disable it. Then you click the start check button to see an SEO analysis for homepage on the front end. This toolbar tells you which SEO factors meet requirements and which ones are not good enough and need to be rechecked. SEO external links help you to generate rel equals nofollow tag to outbound links. SEO report helps users to check SEO on page issues and suggest optimized ways. This module has synced data with Google Search Console. For general configuration, you can enter a start date to check data on Google Search Console. Also, select the end date. Next, in Client ID and Client Secret, copy the key from Google API Console and then paste it into the field. Then, click the button to get Google Authorization Code and paste into the field to connect your store with Google Search Console. After completing configurations, you navigate to a product, 
category or CMS edit page to check how SEO report and SEO audit performs. To check the detailed SEO report, please go to marketing. This grid displays all important SEO information of page URLs on the website. If you click crawl all site button, you are redirected to the crawl SEO report page. The module carries out crawling data for websites that have just set up this module. This process only needs to be done once because new products are automatically updated. That's for today's video. Feel free to contact us if you have any assistance.